if you're gonna get your tongue pierced, you have to have very good oral hygiene because it's your mouth and you eat and drink all the time. Well, not all the time, but like I do eat a lot. Um, and a lot of germs and bacteria are gonna get into the wound. So you need to you need be to brush very your teeth careful with that. every meal or any drink that you have other than water. This is very important because if you don't, then you can get it infected and it will slow down the healing process and you really don't want that. So what you have to do is brush your teeth like always and your gums. Also what you're going to need to do is brush gently on the roof of your, of your mouth. This is important because when you close your mouth, pretty much the roof of your mouth is touching the piercing and it's it's a piercing but it's a wound so you need to be very careful with that also you need to brush your tongue very very well especially around the barbell because that's where the food will accumulate and stuff so make sure that you brush around it and you, you brush the balls also and the top and bottom, make sure that you brush like the after whole brushing thing. your teeth. You need to rinse your mouth with alcohol free. What you're gonna need is a new toothbrush, um, a regular just a regular toothpaste. This is the Colgate one, and a non alcohol uh, mouthwash. And yeah, um, also I almost forgot the the toothpaste has to be we'll alcohol like to pierce free your also. tongue, like more to the front mine is not to the front let me show you guys it looks like that it's not too to the front because my tongue was pierced in a way where it does not touch any of my teeth when I when I talk or when I'm just not talking it does not touch any of them unless I'm I'm eating like well it depends how long the barbell is that's why I have a a shorter one um yeah, you need to be very, very careful with that. Talk to your piercer about it because if you pierce it more to the front and it touches your teeth, um, on the long run, it can actually break them because your piercing is constantly like, hi like hitting it and with time it will break and also your gums will start getting, how do you say this? They'll, they'll get thinner I guess you could say they'll get thinner I, I don't know the correct word I'm sorry but yeah like it will be very very fragile and that's how that's how your what to expect when you're gonna go get your tongue pierced is that it may or it may not bleed for me it did not After bleed at all pierced, uh, your tongue will be very very swollen and but that's normal so don't worry about it the swelling will go down within a week or so uh, the longest for me was um, four also days. another thing to expect is um, your saliva. Um, I don't know how to say this, but it will be, it will look kind of white, like a mucus kind of thing around the the barbell, and that's normal because that's saliva, and it's like I don't know, it's just there. Like even till now, like it happens, but that's just normal. Um, also, you're going to have a very, very hard time eating. For me, I had to eat soup for a whole week. It was very, very hard. Even then, eating soup was fucking difficult because, I don't know, it's just, like, it just was. It was very swollen, and then you can, you cannot eat hot foods, so, like, I say, I'd say you wait a little bit till it's warm and not hot, and, yeah, like, it's gonna be very very hard just try to like put the food or soup any soft food that you that you want to eat put it to the sides so it's it will be easier but for me it was still very very difficult like it was difficult and also you can eat applesauce and stuff like that just soft foods uh, do not eat foods. or drink any dirt products such as milk yogurt etc because it will cause an infection and you really don't want that because it will slow down the healing process for me like after a week like it felt healed not completely healed but healed for the most part and after the second week i got to change my tongue ring the tongue ring i got pierced with is this 16 gauge one and the one that i have on this one 
which looks like this, just that it's silver. I As you can see, it is very, very long. So when you eat, it will like move all over the place and you can bite down on the balls. So when you eat, try to eat very slow and be careful because if you bite on, on the balls, you can actually break your teeth. So in you really don't want you really don't want to break your teeth because fuck that you know and yeah the one I have on right now kind of looks it looks like this and well yeah the bar is shorter as you can see it's like it's like this but silver and you can really really see the difference this is a lot longer than this one is and the balls are bigger and also these are acrylic balls these are not the steel balls like this which can actually break your teeth. Acrylic balls, if you bite down on them, they will break first. And now I'm going to answer teeth. some questions that I get asked a lot. And that is, where did you get it pierced? I got it pierced at Dark Side of the Moon. Um, also, um, how much did it cost? It cost me $25, but it depends on the shop. Like for me, it was $25. For you, it may be $30, maybe $20. It, like it all, it all varies on the... On the shop did it hurt it didn't hurt it just felt like a like a little pinch and when the when the piercer was putting the the ring through the through the needle it felt weird like it wasn't painful but it just another question weird. that I get asked a lot is how long have I had it for and I've had it for about three weeks now, and I have not had any problems with it So at all. that is it, you guys. I hope I answered all your questions. And if not, then feel free to message me anytime, and I will get back to you. Also, if you want to watch the video of me getting my tongue pierced, I will gladly leave the link on the description box. Thank you guys for watching. And I love you.